Now, if you're looking for a way to celebrate Halloween today, you might want to check out Anoka. Our Adam Duxer is there with a look at a pretty big community event today. Good morning, Adam. Yeah, good morning, Reg. You know, I think if you're talking Halloween, you have to be in Anoka, right? It's every Minnesotan knows Halloween equals Anoka. And there is really no event bigger than this weekend in the parade. And that's why I'm joined by Michelle Austin Dean, the parade chair. We already see chairs lined up. This thing's not for hours away. What is all or what is today all about rather? Today is really all about just providing a festival that's fun and family friendly. Anoka and Halloween, the backstory there, it's such a big deal here, but why? So in 1920, the kids were kind of raising havoc in town and the community members came together and just decided we can do something to keep these kids occupied so they're not causing trouble. They were tipping over um, outhouses, letting cows run down Main Street. Uh, so they organized a parade and it just kind of stuck. And here we are 104 years later. You were saying and people are saying that the barriers go up and that you had to even institute a rule where it's like, hey, you can't be putting chairs out until morning of and people have come out here and put the chairs up. What is it about this parade you think that keeps people so excited and coming back year after year? I think it's it's just a rich history, a tradition. Uh, it's also one of the largest parades in the state. Um, so I just think parade season kind of ends at, at the end of summer and there's a little bit of a break and you know here's another one. And quickly, I know today's not just about the parade. Super quick, what are some of the other events going on today? So there is the Lions Tent that has uh, live music later tonight. Um, we have a coronation tonight where we will have our new Anoka Royal Halloween ambassadors selected. Um, each of them gets a uh, scholarship, it's a scholarship program. Uh, and then we also have our Anoka Halloween store that opens today at 10. So if you're here and you're waiting for the parade to start, uh, find the Anoka Halloween store. And you were saying parade starts at one, but people will start showing up not too long from now? I would anticipate people are going to start showing up between 9 and 10 o'clock. Wow. So definitely some excitement here in Anoka, Reg. And man, the kids are out of control even 100 years ago, but maybe it's a good thing they were because it's resulted in, in a pretty cool tradition here in downtown Anoka. And like she said, if you're coming here, you want to get here soon because it'll start filling up. Yeah, they'll be standing in line to see that parade. Thanks a lot, Adam. Now, not only does Anoka claim to be the Halloween capital of the world, it also boasts having the largest parade. So we wanted to see what it was all about. And our Adam Duxer is there in the Halloween capital of the world in Anoka. Hi, Adam. Yeah, good morning, Reg. You know, this parade today doesn't start until 1 p.m., but you wouldn't know that when you're down here because there's already chairs lined up down in downtown Anoka right now. And a lot of people have been working for a long time to get ready for this, including Chris Nucci, or should I say Bob Ross, man, the, it's, it's looking good. Thanks for joining us this morning, Chris. Absolutely, I'm glad to be here and I'm glad this is my 10th year of helping with this parade and it's, it's a joy to do this every year. You were saying how you got your start with this and I think it's a really cool story because you've got a family connection. What is kind of the backstory of how you got your start with this parade? So originally it was helping my grandpa on the day of the parades. He, you know, we would help organize our marching bands in the background, get them sent up to the beginning. He kind of stepped out of it. And then from there I took his spot. And now for the last four years, it's been my duty to invite our marching bands, getting them out to all three of our parades and making sure it works as smoothly for them and for our kids too. Because this parade, I mean, there's the costumes and there's the floats, but how big of an aspect of these parades is the music and the marching bands? I believe it's probably the biggest thing. You know, that's what all of these parents are coming out for. It's to see either their kids or see what's in the future for them. And, you know, it's just, we have almost 3,000 kids that'll be marching through 11 bands. So it's going to be a pretty Im impressive experience. And it's, it is my favorite thing to see them warming up. I can't even imagine listening to them when they're actually walking through the parade route. You talked earlier before we got going, your grandpa had decades of experience working with this parade. You yourself now have years of experience. What is it about this thing that you think keeps people coming back and keeps people so involved? I, I think a lot of it is the community and including our volunteers. It, it is, this is a labor of love for a lot of our people, including myself, um, but it, it's, 
it is so much about just seeing everybody gather around a a fun holiday event and people bringing out their kids for the candy, you know, listening to our marching bands, just experiencing the craziness, the chaos. I love it. So, and then for my grandpa, you know, 30 years of doing this and there's so much history that he's seen and hopefully that I'll get to experience too. Cause I'm, I'm going to be doing this for a long time as well. Real quick, let's see that paintbrush, because he's the real deal, folks. He's got the paintbrushes, and that's real hair. It is just absolutely great hair, Reg. And Chris will be here. There will be thousands of people here for this parade. Again, it starts at 1, but if you want to come down, you should probably come soon, because chairs are already lining up for this thing. Minnesota's Bob Ross, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Adam. <laughs>